I am Iron Man. Who would agree to take orders from an authority figure and who wouldn't? Captain. Well, you'd think Captain America, who was a soldier in his own right, would agree to it. Big man in a suit of armor. Take that off. What are you? Genius billionaire playboy philanthropist. But Tony Stark, who's gone in front of the U.S. Senate and said, I have successfully privatized world peace. Yeah, not a joiner. Yeah. You know, it's trailblazer. I just finally know what I have to do. I'm going to find my weapons and destroy them. Tony has a lot on his shoulders. And the great thing about Tony Stark and the great thing about Robert Downey Jr. is Tony does evolve as a character over the course of the films. Tony, you're being uncharacteristically non-hyperverbal. It's because he's already made up his mind. Oh, you know me so well. Tony is a futurist. Tony believes he can see three or four or five steps ahead. He feels responsible for everything. He feels like he should be able to invent a solution to any problem that faces mankind. He's got plenty of doubts about himself, or rather, he's uh, he, he's taking an honest inventory of of recent events. I see a suit of armor around the world. Sounds like a cold world, Tony. I've seen colder. Based on what has happened in all the other films, what happens when a particular organization gets what the world believes to be too much power? It will always come to a head. For the past four years, you've operated with unlimited power and no supervision. That's an arrangement the governments of the world can no longer tolerate. He's had these years of battle now as Iron Man, and he's gone through incredible arcs as a character. He's a little wiser for it, you know, and he understands the need to protect the Avengers politically. We need to be put in check. If we can't accept limitations, we're boundaryless. We're no better than the bad guys. We wanted to ask the questions that audiences ask when they watch our films, which is, what is Tony Stark's response for the destruction of Sokovia? That seems like something that's really rich in drama. Who's going to avenge my son Stark? He's dead, and I blame you. That's one of the coolest dichotomies. Cap went from being this guy who was built by the government, and his allegiance was to the government, and it was a blind. Tony was kind of always flipping the bird to the government, doing what he wanted to do. This is the United Nations we're talking about. It's not S.H.I.E.L.D., it's not Hydro. No, but it's run by people with agendas, and agendas change. That's why I'm here. When I realized what my weapons were capable of in the wrong hands, I shut it down and stopped manufacturing. Tony, you chose to do that. If we sign this, we surrender our right to choose. If there's one thing that's been very clearly set up, it's that Steve and Tony have a past, and that past goes back, spans several generations. Dad was a pain in the ass, but... Me and Mom always made it work. You know, I'm glad Howard got married. I only knew him when he was young and single. Oh, really? You two knew each other? He never mentioned that. Maybe only a thousand times. God, I hated you. He's feeling a little misty about his folks, much more than Iron Man 2. What is and always will be my greatest creation is you. Tony is finally realizing that all this dough that he inherited, let alone all the money he's made, he was supposed to do something with it. You know, they say sarcasm is a metric for potential. If that's true, you'll be a great man someday. Part of what makes the stories fun is they never do anything perfectly, but they're, they're righteous and they're principled people. This isn't going to change what happened. I don't care. A few years ago, I trashed all my suits. Then we had the mop of Hydra, and then Ultron. My fault. And then, and then, and then, I never stopped. Because the truth is, I don't want to stop. I always like the idea of how do you recover from that? What has to happen for there to be any sort of homeostasis by the end of a, a rift like that between Steve and Tony?